We will call the June 26, 2017 meeting of the Board of Adjustment to order. For the information of the public, the Board of Adjustment is an impartial body made up of residents of the town of Prescott Valley who volunteer their time and efforts and are guided by state and local rules and regulations. When you address the board, please state your name and address for name and address for the record. Only one person may speak at a time and all remarks must be addressed to the board as a whole. As board chairperson, I will acknowledge staff members present. Fernando Gonzalez, Code Enforcement Supervisor. Ms. Stutte, Administrative Support. I will ask the secretary to call the roll, please. Member Wood. Here. Chairperson Shimon. Here. Vice Chair Kyle. Here. Member Gamble. Here. Member Johnson. Since a full board is not present, pursuant to Article 1329060, the applicant has the right to request that your item be deferred to a future meeting date when a full five member board is present. The board approval or denial requires a majority vote. The motion will not pass if there are less than a majority affirmative votes. I am making this request known before we hear the application. The applicant is not present. I'm assuming since the application was made and he was aware uh, that his presence may be required, I'm going to submit that we move forward with the meeting today. And we will do just that. May I have a motion for approval of the minutes of the March 27th meeting? So moved. May I have a second? Second. May we have a roll call vote, please? Chairperson Shimon? Yes. Member Gamble? Yes. Vice Chair Kyle? Yes. Member Wood? Yes. The, the minutes are accepted as presented. Are there any announcements from staff or board members? If I may, Chair, um, I do want to give you some certificates of appreciation for your service. These were handed out at the volunteer banquet that I uh, unfortunately missed your presence there, but I do have these for you here today and I'd like to present them to you. I have one for the chair, vice chair, and members, if I can approach and hand these Thank to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. I haven't been here long enough to have one. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I will now read into the record our first agenda item. Upon the application of Chris K-U-K-N-Y-O, agent for Patriot Disposal, a request for a variance to waive the requirement described within section 1321-060-C2, Town of Prescott Valley zoning ordinance, which requires a maximum height of eight feet for fences, walls, screen walls, hedges, and shrubbery on commercially and industrial zoned lots. The subject property is located at 9500 East Valley Road, Prescott Valley Business Park, APN 402-28011B. And before we proceed, I would like to enter for the record that this is uh, item V17002. May we have the staff presentation, please? Yes, thank you. Um, the property is zoned M1. M1 is industrial zoning district, and these uses are either not attractive or uses that are heavy impacted for the neighborhood but they are situated in a location where they don't impact other additional uses within that district. Um, as noted, the property is an M1. The use is allowed by matter of right. It is a garbage disposal operation. They also do um, sorting there. And because of the nature of the type of business that they have, they have debris, trash, they have trash trucks come in, unload, and they have trash scattered throughout the property, they get them and then they take them to an assorting area where they separate plastic, metal, um, 
paper, things of that nature. And as you know, the prevailing winds within the town of Prescott Valley sometimes grab those and take those over and give them over the fence into the fields out to the neighbor. And as people drive by, the visual effect isn't screened because of the chain link fence that's there, you can see right through it. Um, what we've done is we've had a number of complaints from residents and business owners in that location in regards to the attractive nature of that business. And in meetings with the applicant and the, the property owner, we've come up with different scenarios to try to eliminate some of the, the blight that people see when they drive through the town or on that street, of course, so it's not as unattractive to other uh, businesses and other patrons. So we came up with the idea of this solid screen fencing. And even though the eight foot height maximum for commercial allow is allowed by matter of right, we didn't think that the eight feet would actually suffice because one of, sometimes when the winds come up and they have screening up right now, they have uh, green screening that goes up, I wanna say at least 30 feet up in the air that actually goes through and catches some of it, but it still spirals up and over the fence underneath those screening. So what we've come up with now, these are just ideas that the town came up with, or suggestions to the applicant as their business, to see if we can come up with some kind of a <coughs> wall or fence at 10 feet in height with this solid. So as you may know that we recently did a variance for a fence for the cultivation facility, which is a solid screen fencing, and it goes up to 10 feet in height. The same type of fencing is also used for the dismantling operation down the road, the you pick it. They actually have a 10 foot high, similar fencing just like the other two. Um, so we came up with that idea and say, well, that would actually satisfy the containment, some of the containment a portion of it down below and the screening of the operation as well. So we asked if they would be uh, receptive to doing something like that. It's not something that they're required to do, but they said that's something that they're willing to do. Of course, it's gonna cost a little bit more of money. So that's why we're before the board today and asking that we have a variance from the town code in regards to that so that we can approach them and say, yes, now you have the ability to go ahead and erect the 10 foot high fence. That would help but eliminate that, the blithe and, and all the, the trash and debris blowing. Now they're not only going to do the fence if permitted, but they also are gonna do additional screening as well. That hopefully is going to eliminate some of the offsite trash and debris that's blowing from the location. Um, with that all said, um, these are all the facts that we have today and as, as we're requesting that you approve um, V17-00 and allow the variance for section 1321060C2 and allow the construction of a 10 foot high fall under the following conditions that they actually come in, submit the proper uh, permitting for these walls. That's all I have. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. The the difference between a a wall and a solid screen fence. It, it's the same thing, a wall and a fence. So as far as the, the town is concerned, they're one and the same. That is correct, yes. With reference to building permits, I'm assuming that's fire permits too for the knox boxes on the fence and gate? Yes, well there is, there is a way to circulate on site from a different location. Um, but the fire department will be notified in case they need to get in for whatever reason. Yes. Thank you. Member Wood. Uh, Mr. Gonzalez, uh, you say there's several complaints, but how many complaints were, the, were made? Uh, I've received two complaints. I think a 10 foot wall is a, a good solution to the problem. However, Thank you. Uh, there's four things that's gotta be uh, uh, present. And the fourth thing is says special circumstances applicable to the subject property were not self-imposed by the property, blah, blah, blah. Everything on this uh, is trash blown around, that's, that's self-imposed. The trash and debris, yes, the trash is self-imposed. Unfortunately, the prevailing winds they can't control. So the winds are blowing the trash from the site, off the site. They've, they've tried to contain it on site, but there is really no true way to do that without erecting some kind of a barrier or a fence or a wall. 
However, but if you look at the things and, and the way they're written, yes, that's self-imposed. He brings his trash there, right? That is correct. He does he bring the, blow the, the wind. He doesn't <laughs> cause the wind to blow, but right, he doesn't exactly. The use itself, when he brings a trash in, he doesn't. He means to contain it. However, because the you know again, we're going to go back with mother nature the winds we we can't control that in which way they blow and as much as we try to have them do other things which we've tried as you can see with the green if you've driven by the site there's green uh screening that was put up and that actually the wind is bomb blowing through that and that's why we're trying to get something a little more substantial so that doesn't happen when we approve the var variance for the medical marijuana yes do they have a 10-foot fence they do, yes. Did, did we approve that variance at that time? Yes, yes, we did. So there's a precedent? Correct. Even though we don't set precedents? Well, this is true, okay. yes. We've historically approved them, yes. All right. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. You're welcome. Are there any further questions from board members? Hearing none, uh, we will open the floor for comment from the public. And since there is uh, no one here, we will bring the matter back to the board for closing discussion. Uh, having visited the site, it was readily apparent that the updrafts were carrying all manner of things uh, to the cosmos right. <clears throat> and the, the people across the street. I, it, it was unsightly. Um, that that would be my comment. Would anyone, any other board member make a comment? He's gonna put up some additional netting. Uh, uh, yes. To, to, to kind of contain all of that, the blowing refuge? Correct, but what we're trying to do is keep it from going underneath, in there, underneath the, the existing fence or wall, and then actually going up with the screening above that. And again, it's, it's going to serve two purposes, containment and uh, screening of the trash and debris. Thank you. Again, asking for further comment or qu comment from board members. I have a question. Certainly. Uh, are they going to put that uh, batting cage stuff on the front against the Highway 2? as opposed to just on both ends? Um, I'm going to suggest that in conversation, they were going to put it around the area where the debris, the, the trash and debris was and, and actually the sorting area, but not across the front. So where you saw as you were driving down Valley, you saw where it started, you could start seeing where they started to, to, to store it or stage it. It's going to start, the, sc the screen wall will start there, go down around the corner where the vacant lot is, down that way and across the back about 30 feet. So it's, it's not going to be the entire site, it's just going to be the area of containment and, uh, and of course where, the, where all the debris is. I have another question. We have another question? Yes. Yes. According to your, to your, uh, your brief, he was reluctant to put up a 10-foot wall. Okay, if we approve the variance, then we can't direct him to do it, right? That is correct. However, he has few options in order to, he has to contain and he has to do screening. So he has to do one, both or the other, and this is one of the avenues that we gave him, and he was receptive as long as we went through the process. So I, I'm, I'm pretty, almost 100% sure that he's gonna be, if approved, he will be out there doing this. As I was reading the M1 Industrial General Limited, uh, uh, while not necessarily attractive or conventional in nature, are installed and operate in a manner so as not to cause inconvenience to other uses in the district. A and I see <clears throat> this as the direction Correct. to Patriot, to proceed. That is correct, yes. Thank you. Evan, the material can, and of the fence can change. He could, he could come with you at different 
proposals and what he's going to do with that, or is it already pretty much in stone? It's pretty much in stone. We want, again, this is something that we would we would like to see. The town of Prescott Valley is something similar to what we've done for the medical marijuana place, which is also similar to the U Picket. So it's kind of uniform, and it, and it's not it, it's not a bad appearance once you see it up. So. You're welcome. Further discussion from any board member? Hearing none, I would call for a motion. Hearing none, I will make a motion. I move that the Board of Adjustment approve V17-002, a variance from section 13-21060 C2, and allow construction of a 10-foot wall with the following condition, that the applicant acquire all required building permits and that they be obtained prior to construction of the wall. Have we a second? Have I a second? I'll second that. May we have a roll call vote? Member Wood? Aye. Vice Chairperson Kyle? Aye. Member Gamble? Aye. Chairperson Shimon? Aye. The Thank next you. item on the agenda is election of officers, and we have postponed this for many months, not having a complete board. I <clears throat> suggest that we proceed this evening with the election of officers. And in that, in that direction, I nominate member Gary Kyle to the position of chair. We do not need a second, so we can have uh, either a roll call vote or a, a paper vote, depending upon whichever you prefer. That's up to Roll call is fine with me. Is that fine with everyone? Okay. Chairperson Shimon? Aye. Member Gamble? Aye. Vice Chairperson Kyle? Aye. Member Wood? Aye. Welcome to the new chair. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a vice chair. Do I hear nominations? I would then nominate Member Gamble to be vice chair. May we have a roll call vote? Member Wood? Aye. Vice Chairperson Kyle? Aye. Chairperson Shimon? Aye. Member Gamble? Aye. I will issue a, a call to the public. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to address the board at this time? Hearing none, and oh. there, uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Gonzalez, I beg your pardon. That's okay. I, I just wanted to thank you and congratulate the new members. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There being no further business, I will accept a motion to adjourn, followed by a voice call vote. So moved. Member Wood. Oh, we had a motion. We do have a motion. Do, do we need a second? We do need a second. Need a second. Yes, may I have a second? We have a second. May we have a roll call vote, please? Member Wood. Aye. Vice Chair Kyle. Aye. Member Gamble. Aye. Chairperson Shimon. Aye. This meeting is adjourned. Is the city going by?